there creatives and welcome to another video. So today I'm here to share with you my Craftelier haul. Uh, Craftelier is one of my favorite wet shops to get my supplies, definitely here in Europe. And they ship to the Netherlands for a good, good price. So I'm very, very excited and they always have sales. And I wanted to spoil myself a little bit and give myself a little present. So that is why I ordered a bunch of stuff from Craftelier. So I hope you will enjoy this video. Uh, I put it in a different box because the box it came in, it was like wrecked and it was a very inconvenient box. So I put everything in a different box, but I will go through everything with you and share what I got. Uh, but first of all, when I removed this box, there is something very, very exciting. I got myself the Tim Holtz glass media mat. So I am super, super excited about, uh, about this. I got myself this as a present. As most of you know, I'm um, redoing the craft room. So there should be an art room tour or craft room tour coming fast, but I have to do some last final things in my craft room before I want to share it. And this was one of the things that I was waiting on. Uh, I got myself this surface. I have a non-stick craft mat, but really I have to tape it down on my desk because it slips everywhere when I work on it. And that's not really convenient. Also, it is, I think, three years old. It has its best time, you know, like it, it served me well. So I thought I would use this because I saw a lot of good reviews about it and a lot of good things that you can do with it so i'm very very excited um i think i will just open it up and show you the whole glass media mat so here it is oh it is heavy and i'm very afraid to break it but once it is set on my desk it is set there and it will not move again i do really like this i think it's also a good background i think for my for my videos let me know but uh, it's, it's a nice size. I do, did wish it was a bit bigger uh, because now I have to figure out something to protect uh, my desk over there because it is a splatter bonanza over there. <laughs> and I got myself a new tabletop uh, to replace this one because this one has dents and splatters and everything. It's not white anymore. Uh, so I uh, want to replace that. And that's also why I bought this protective surface. Uh, but I have to figure out how to protect it over there when I splatter. Because you all know splatters go everywhere. Uh, but it has this um, non-stick craft mat. And under here there's this palette. And it's all the same height. So there are no humps or bumps or anything in it. Which I really like. And it's a lovely big surface. So I can put my paints here, my art journal here, or any project I work on and just work on this surface and clean it off very easily. And that was something I was looking for. Oh, you could see my light in it. So that's also something I have to figure out with the glass, but I think it will be, it will, it will be good. So I'm very, very happy that I bought this, um, thing i think i will leave it here now because it's very heavy and i don't know where to put it anywhere else so, um, so i will just grab stuff out of the box and you will see this as my new background so first of all i got myself some stencils i got this art mask from carabelle studio it's called balloon flowers and i'm very excited to try out something like this i noticed that my style changed from very illustrated stencils to more background stencils or textured stencils it's probably because i feel more confident about my art so this is a kind of stencil that i'm really enjoying at the moment at the moment and that's also why i got this the triangle mesh because it just gives background and texture I'm very excited to use these. Then I also got, for the same reason, this Dina Wakely media stencil. I love the lines and I think I can make some very cool texture with it on my backgrounds. Sorry for the glare, I have to figure that out. And then I also got the circle painty things. What is this called? Circles for painting from Dina Wakely. Also very excited to try this out and see how this is. <clears throat> so I think those are my stencils. I'm not quite sure. If I find another one, you will, you will see it. <laughs> I cannot lay it there. There. 
Then I also got myself some of the Dilutions back chat. Uh, I saw Leanne from Creatively Free to be me using them and I really, really love the snarky comments. <laughs> so uh, that is why I got these. So these two are the same, just black and white, so different color. And this one is a completely different one. But um, like the first one is already saying something. <laughs> I can very much appreciate. Getting out of bed is almost always the wrong decision. I know, right? <laughs> so um, yeah, I really, really enjoy these. So I think you will see these in my art journal pages as well or other projects. Then I got myself a crocodile. Uh, I had this cheap paper punch, but um, it broke because I wanted to punch too much paper at once. <laughs> So I thought, why not invest in a hole punch and an eyelet setter? Because I love making journals and I would love to make journals with eyelets. And I never used eyelets before. So that's also why I bought this eyelet kit. Uh, unfortunately, this one came not with a crocodile, but I really wanted the blue one because blue is my favorite color. So um, yeah, and this is a bigger one. So I'm very excited to try this out. I don't know how this works. We will see. Uh, I will probably figure this out on camera because that's what I do wing it <laughs> so i'm very excited to try this out as well then i got myself some washi tapes from the day and day collection or the day to day collection from maggie holmes that is her new planner collection and i love everything maggie holmes and i love washi tape so i couldn't resist buying these uh yeah i'm very very excited about these washi tapes they are beautiful beautiful washi tapes very very pretty so that is what i got then i also got some more washi tapes but uh, the packaging broke but that's no problem at all uh, these are just uh, simple black and white i noticed that i really enjoy i'm really enjoying that at the moment then next up i bought myself two new multimedia mats ranger jars because i'm using them very much and i really really enjoy using them so i thought why not put them more of them in my stash so that is also what i received next very happy with that sometimes you just need to replenish your supplies then there's always this cute little card in the craftlier orders and this one will go into my journal so i very much like that maybe i will do this in my junk journal for the weekly documenting i'm not quite sure but i really love this cat this is me <laughs> in a postcard and it says craft lover it is such a beautiful pretty pretty card very happy with that and then i also bought myself this alcohol ink storage tin so my alcohol inks are with my other inks but i tend to forget them that i have them and i want to have a nice storage for them so i bought this one uh, it was also on clearance so that's also a, always a good <laughs> good thing and i hope to store them in here and in one of my rascocks so they will be in my site and i don't forget to use them because i had a ton of fun using them I just forget that I have them. So I hope this will help. And I love these kinds of storage solutions. Oh, wrong side. Then I got myself this snail, a snail stamp for all my snail mail envelopes. I don't know if I will use it. I probably forget, but I loved him. He's so cute. So I will try to make an effort to put stamp in on my envelopes for the uh, snail mail or use them anywhere else. I thought he was so cute. So I bought this one as well. It's just a little tiny rubber stamp. Then I also got myself this Project Life card kit, flea market edition. It's by Maggie Holmes. That's why I bought it because I love everything Maggie Holmes and it was on clearance. So uh, I love to use these kinds of things in my journals or on my uh, snail mail projects or anything like that. So I will take you through it it's just a gorgeous little little mini kit and i will show you the cards they are very very pretty i will go through it a bit fast because it's an old kit you probably saw it but i did want to share with you what i got for myself 
maybe a bit more in detail on what's inside. I will probably also buy the AC Digitals kit for flea market. So I can craft with that and my cards. So my AC, <laughs> AC Digitals collection is very much expanding. Um, mostly with crate paper or Maggie Holmes stuff. Because I love that so much. So these are all the same cards, but the orientation is differently. So I will just show you the designs of these. Um, yeah, so I will probably buy flea market. So I have the papers and the uh, elements and embellishments. And I will make some mail with these. Because that's, in the end, I like that the most. Doing with that with these. Then there are a bunch of 3x4 cards. And... With these you get two of each. So let's see. You get two of each design. So that's this one. And then this is on the back. You have a grid pattern. And then this lovely pattern on the back. Love. And some hearts. I never know if I go too fast or too slow with these kinds of things. I don't want my video to be like forever, but I do want to show you what I got. So I always, I don't, don't always know how to show this. Also because I don't really do haul videos um, that often. I don't, at the moment, I don't really buy a lot of stuff simply because I already have so much. And uh, I'm trying to use what I have. Of course, now I bought a lot of stuff, uh, but... Um, mostly during the time I don't buy a lot of stuff I also receive a lot of stuff from Pampels and I want to use what I have um, because I, I admit I was a big hoarder but now I see that hoarding your supplies is not a way to go um, because they're just sitting there, they're not being pretty, they're just sitting there and if I'm afraid of using them, you know, there will always be new stuff and there will always be new stuff I uh, enjoy. So why hoard everything and all the pretty things or keep it for a special project if there is like, how many collections are there every year from every company? That are coming out. I mean, I think Crate Paper already, or Crate Paper Maggie Holmes already did what? four or five collections this year and we're only in June. So <laughs> I don't know why I want to keep all of it. So they, these are also uh, very, very pretty. Like I said, I like to use these in, uh, in flipbooks or as tip-ins in my, uh, my journal. And uh, I, the only reason I bought them is because they're Maggie Holmes and I like Maggie Holmes. Um, I did do Project Life years ago, but I can't keep up with it. And that's why I do the Junk Journal weekly photo documenting right now. Uh, I found that is something I can keep up with. But Project Life is, is just, for me, too big of a project with all the other things I want to do. You know, I'm still behind on my snail mill, so <laughs> can't take on any other big projects that require a lot of commitment. Um, but I do like um, documenting uh, a photo every week. Talking about that, I should film that video next, I think. Uh, I also made a list in my journal, my creative journal, uh, with videos to film. So if you have any requests or any suggestions for me to make videos about, please leave them down here in the comments. I would love to hear from you what you would like to see on my channel. It always gives me a good... Uh, jumping off point and especially with summer break coming up uh, I hope to film a ton of videos so uh, I would love to hear from you what you want to see on my YouTube channel I did have a lot of amazing suggestions already so that is great now I will take the next thing Next up, I bought this sticker book from Kaiser Crafts and uh, it was a gamble because I couldn't find photos from what is inside. But this cover page, I thought I would really enjoy what is inside. I'm a bit disappointed, I have to say. It's not quite what I expected, but still, I think I will find something how I can use this sticker book. Um, and 
Otherwise, I will put it in Happy Mail and send it to other people I know who will love this style. But it was, you know, you see this cover and you see these stickers and then you're like, this <laughs> doesn't really match. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure what to do uh, with this, but it was a gamble. But now I know I don't want to buy these sticker books again. So that's also uh, okay, because sometimes you have to try things out to know that you don't like it maybe it's also the background paper why i don't like it i'm not quite sure but it's not like i don't like it i just expected something else from this sticker book i do like the alphas i always like alphas so that was a sticker book from kaiser craft it's called rosa bella for the ones that are interested in this sticker book and then i went crazy <clears throat> with the stickers <laughs> So uh, I will start with this. Uh, I got these Maggie Holmes stickers from the day-to-day -day collection. Uh, I don't have the planner. I don't do pretty planning, but I do creative journaling and I love her stuff. So uh, these will probably end up in my creative, creative journal. They are gorgeous, gorgeous stickers, gorgeous icons. And I just love her stuff. So um, that is why I... Why I bought this, um, you know, <laughs> it's Maggie Holmes, look how pretty. <laughs> and I love the boxes, so I can use these in my uh, creative journal, like I said. It's gorgeous. I love all her stuff. I'm a huge, huge fan of her stuff. So that is the uh, day-to-day sticker book. I don't know which number it is because there's also another one, a day-to-day -day sticker book. Oh, I'll put this on the other side. And this one has uh, more of the icons. So, uh, and it has a beautiful gold foiling, which I really like, but also a lot of words. So I will probably find an, uh, a way to use these. I will, I know I will, because I always do. They are gorgeous. So it's a combination of clear stickers and cardstock stickers. They are gorgeous. And there is uh, there are a ton of numbers in here, which is great because I picked up my daily goodness calendar again. And I can use these for my daily goodness calendar. So I have to switch out batteries. Be right back. So I'm back with a new battery. Here are more day-to-day -day stickers from Maggie Holmes. And these are just little boxes. I haven't opened these yet, but you can see on the back what is inside. They are beautiful. So these are just boxes in these double sheets. Camera. Thank you. <laughs> then uh, I also bought this little pack and here are icons, only, only icons. And I thought this is the cutest little pack ever. So you have the to-do lists and the icons, and I very, very much enjoy that. So I'm very happy I got these. Then it didn't stop there, my sticker craziness. I bought these sticker book, uh, this sticker book from Pink Paisley. I think I saw it on um, a YouTube channel. I believe her name is Effie. And I saw it on her... YouTube channel and she went through it and she used it in her junk journal and I was like, I need to get this. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's also why I bought this uh, beautiful sticker book. I will put the in screen so you can see everything. And I will also flip you through this one. They're just gorgeous, gorgeous stickers. And I already found the collections on AC Digitals that go with these stickers. And I will probably buy those too, because now I'm seeing the stickers and I actually really love these, um, this aesthetic. Uh, so I'm, I think <laughs> I need to make a list in my, uh, my journal with collections I bought and collections I want to have a wish list. So yeah. I also love the alphas. It's just a very, very pretty, very pretty sticker book. These are clear stickers. And I think they are meant to use in a planner, but well, I don't use stuff where they are meant for it to be used. <laughs> These are beautiful flags. Some washi strips. I really, really like this. 
frames. And then we go to this collection and this is like, hello, Kira, how are you doing? <laughs> so I'm very, very excited about these, these stickers. They are gorgeous. So it's a combination of clear stickers and uh, cardstock stickers. Love this. And I don't know why this collection never caught my eye because this is so me. And then we have some beautiful bigger alphas and more of these. I don't know because this is so me. <laughs> why didn't I see this before? I'm not quite sure. But I absolutely love this. So I'll probably get that collection as well because I love it so much. And I want to make stuff with it. Then I also got myself, uh, then this is the last thing we go through, a big Happy Planner sticker book. And it's filled with florals, only flowers. I have Happy Planner sticker books, I have the quote books and all stuff. Because when I, I there was this moment that I thought I would do pretty planning. It didn't work out, but I did buy the sticker books. You know, we all go through things <laughs> with getting exciting excited buying the stuff finding out it's not your thing and then you spend a lot of money on it i still use the stickers though i use them in my uh journal so they are still being used uh, but <laughs> this time i specifically chose one with just flowers and not planner stickers so in here there are only flowers and i want to use these in my personal journal because flowers make me happy sticking stickers down makes me happy and this is also a combination between clear and cardstock stickers and i do love the happy planner stickers it's just the most of the sticker books have stickers in them that i don't use so um i was happy to find one with just flowers or i also have two with quotes uh, which i often use so if you want to see more of my creative journaling, head over to my Instagram. I post there almost every day or when I have a page to post uh, my um, how I decorate my pages. For my creative journal, it's before the pen because I don't want to share my writing with you. I don't do process videos on them because I need it to be low key. But I do post uh, photos of my journal uh, once I decorated them um, to give some inspiration, I think, or to share another piece of my uh, creative life with you without being it too much. There is also content on Instagram you don't see here on YouTube. So uh, if you like that, then maybe you can follow me there if you would like. And uh, if you like this video, if we're already going here, if you like this video, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up. And I would also love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel for more creative videos about snail mail or junk journals or art journaling, like all the, the good stuff. And I will make more tutorials and do things with all of you guys. So yeah, I'm, I really love this sticker book. I'm very happy I bought this one with just the flowers so that was my craftier haul um i hope that you enjoyed watching this video and enjoyed seeing how i treated myself <laughs> and uh i hope to see you all next time thank you all so much for watching and uh bye